build. We're going to have a divider straight through the middle. I'm going to go cut that out with a bit of alloy and put some holes in there for some airflow. We're going to need to weld more bracing here because I'm going to have walls that are going to go up and bolt into all sides. We can start putting the false floor down. Two drawers that are going to come up about 300. Roughly 800 long. We're going to have all switches and panels and all electrical on this side of the door. Lights throughout the whole thing onto the door as well. Insulation, foil board, foil board everything so it keeps it nice and cool. making a design for the divider. I was thinking more of a staggered thing. So like, there, 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 there. So this is the piece of aluminium that we're gonna use for our divider. And what's the machine called? It's like a CNC cutter. So pretty much it's gonna cut out our vent hole. So this is the machine that we're gonna use. We ended up changing the design a little bit. Um, we thought this one was a little bit more I don't know, better. Tabs onto here. Put a nice. I've got about five of them, so we can bolt into the frame. two drill holes and put in these nut serves. Drill a hole, you put that in and it pretty much clamps together and it's pretty much like a nut inside the tubing itself. I'm gonna do that with everything, all the boards, the divider, all the flooring, everything. So everything's just bolt in, bolt out. So if I ever, ever I'm thinking about getting rid of this, simple. My job for today is to work this out. So this is the foil board insulation. Um, it's pretty much a styrofoam and I have to cut it all out, measure it up and pretty much put it in every single little part of the walls oh, and the roof. So last night I actually ended up doing the rest of the insulation so I did all the roof and the walls and to stick them on I just used these glue dots that I got from Coles and just some normal double sided tape and it did the job really well. So the plan for today is to get some air vents into the canopy for some airflow. One of the air vents, it's all done now so now we're moving on to the next one. Um, just draw some top holes to see if it's level and then we'll show you how we install it. Instead of using all self tappers and nuts and bolts and all that, I'm thinking about I'll put pop rivets on here just because it come up with a nicer finish and you know that a pop rivet is not gonna go loose anytime soon. I don't really wanna cut into it, so I'm just gonna drill a couple holes and it should be enough for air to come in. I have sicker flexed all the borders, all the holes, so when this clamps together, it should seal up. Look at 
that. Stunning. We've just made sure to cut out a hole so that the air can actually get through the air vent. So that's how the walls are going to look. We're going to cover them in carpet. I'm going to start cutting around the surface of the roof and the walls. Now the roof and two walls are ready to be carpeted. So to get the carpet on, I've just been using this super adhesive spray and spraying it on the back of the wood and then on the carpet and then using a staple gun and going all around and just stapling it on. So before we start doing stuff to the floor, we've just marked out a little section here that we're going to need to cut out for the lock. Because as you can see, the lock here turns down ways and we don't want it to be hitting the floor since the floor is going to be level with the canopy. At the moment, I am building the floor for the fridge. I'm just working out. I know they're not right to the end, but this to this is perfect for when I put the fridge on and put the bracket on. They've got to screw straight into the structural. What I'm doing at the moment is screwing them in from the bottom and then it sticks out a little bit because it's 15 mil but I will be grinding the top back so when we put the carpet on, it won't feel a thing. There we go, now we've got brackets so we can screw them into the canopy. And all we're going to do now is put up on it, we're just going to put carpet and then we're going to make little boxes and put the drawer slides the drawers. So we didn't get to film too much yesterday because we were like super busy getting stuff done. But we got the base of the drawers done, um, we got the drawer sliders in for both the drawers and we started doing some carpeting um, and it's already looking really good. So I'll just finish up screwing the floor down bolting all the walls up, the floor, uh, the roofing. All I've done is drilled a couple holes through the bottom and then sigger flexed and screwed through it just to keep it waterproof. So now that we've got all that sorted out, got the pantry already bolted in, now it's time for the fridge. I found a little bit of 50 by, I don't know, we'll just say that two mil aluminium sheet laying around. All I'm gonna be doing is Folding up little tab, going right over the side of the fridge and then screwing it to the floor. And then you can see how they got all these screw holes into the fridge already. I'm just going to screw the alloy into there. So after a couple hits and bangs into the vise, I've just folded up this little bit of alloy. What I'll do now, I'll screw holes of where the original ones are so they'll sit in there nice and then I'll just screw that to the floor and I will paint that black so it suits. So I've just finished off screwing the fridge in, putting the pantry in. It just, the divider's a little bit in the way, but I'm gonna show you back some bolts. Just gotta give it a bit of a slam. But, yeah. Next to the drawers. Over to the other side, we've got the wall and the roof done. We haven't done this wall yet because we've gotta do the electrical, but Jamie has gone ahead and made two drawers. So, got one here. We still gotta carpet and varnish it. And then he's doing the other one now. Over 
Thank you. So it's all sanded and now I'm gonna varnish the inside and the sides so that it's a little bit more protected since we aren't gonna carpet it. I'm just using this varnish that we have left over from a bar that we made. We're not too fussed about what it's gonna look like. So I know we didn't show much about finishing off the rest of the drawers, but we put these handles on, got these lock-in um, handles, and this is the drawer. We've just got some um, outdoor carpet on the bottom, and we have varnished all the inside. Um, and yeah, they work really well. Now you see it, and bang, we're back. Canopy is all finished and painted. Look at that, she came out pretty good. I've got a little bit of board here that I've cut out for the 12 volt panel. I've drawn where everything's going to go at the moment because I'll need to cut out holes for the ciggy boards to slip into the wood. So I've just finished up carpeting the panel. I'm going to put a little piano hinge on the corner there. So when it does go in, I will be able to open it and close it. I've decided I won't bolt it in. I won't do any of that stuff because I'm pretty sure that and those two there will hold it enough just to keep it stable really. I've just finished fitting up everything that I'm going to chuck on. I've just got four little switches. The fuse block here, six blade. I got just a quick voltmeter straight from the second battery. I got two Siggy ports and a USB. I just got a 60 amp circuit breaker that's gonna run from the um, auxiliary battery. And then I've just got my projector 25 amp solar slash DC charger that I'm gonna run through from the solar panel to the batteries. What I'm doing at the moment is I took the panel off one of the sides and I'm just chucking the dimmer onto the panel. I've got a bit of excess there, but I'm just going to tie it up into a cable tie, leave it behind. That's going to tuck away behind there. So all you're going to see is that little orange plug, and then you're just going to see one of the light strips onto the top, and then I'm just going to have a bit of more wire run into the other light strip. So what I'm doing, I'm starting from the lights, and then I'm heading to the fuse block, because I don't want to start from the fuse block, get to the lights, and know that I've got no more, cord, no more cable left to run. So the solar panel to charge up my batteries, I went with the 134 watt from projector. I've cut out a little bit of alley angle and I've just got a pop rivet straight into the roof. And I've also changed over to an Anderson plug. So I've put an Anderson plug on top of the canopy. And what I've done, I've just drilled a hole straight through the canopy that's gonna go straight to the charger. Put an Anderson plug on this side, plug that straight in, pop rivet onto the roof. And then it's all good because the projector charger that I bought is a solar and DC charger. So it's got the regulator in it. It's got everything that you know, you don't have to worry about extra boxes and all that bullshit. Got the panel board in. Looks pretty schmick, if you ask me. So I've just put the pins on there and there. It should just click right in. One there, one there. And that holds it pretty, pretty solid. So yeah. So I've connected to the solar to the um, charger. I've got the fridge and the other lights coming in into the switches and then I'm just going to run an earth from outside of the canopy into straight on into the aluminium uh, because you can you can get an earth point from that. Here we have Sammy he's been helping me out for a few things this whole canopy build but uh, today I've got him working on all running the cable and all that. Tell me, tell us what have we done. So we're getting these three cables all the way down to the engine bay um, through the chassis, and we've got a 50 watt uh, 50 circuit amp, breaker 50 here. Amp. 50 amp. Sorry. Yeah. 50 amp uh, circuit breaker running to the battery all the way to the back tray for the canopy. And uh, yeah. At the moment, I'm just finding a nice spot for the Anderson plugs, and I did go the big Anderson plugs because I'm running the 10 mil cable. But 
Got all these bolts sticking out of here. I'm going to tighten them up and then cut the bolts off. So the canopy is finally being mounted onto the car, which is very good news because we are almost finished. So I'm going to quickly explain what I've done just to run the cable into the canopy. I've used these little grommets. Well, they're kind of like weather waterproof ones. Why wire goes straight through there. If you can see, as you close up the hole, the rubber kind of gaps it and then it just waterproof, dustproof. The tighter you go, the tighter the hole will get. So the canopy is officially bolted on, wired up. We have the Dunwatson drawer. The fridge is on, we've just bolted it on, so hopefully it doesn't go anywhere when we're driving. We've got our table here. We still gotta like make it look pretty, but um, pretty much it hooks onto the tray hooks. And it works really well. We've actually used it a couple times already. That's obviously the back. And then we have this side all done as well with the drawers. So the switches are all working. So lights on and off. Um, there's a little switch for lights on the other side. We've got the fridge switch, all the 12 volt stuff. And yeah, um, we're really happy with what it looks like. And we are planning on using it this weekend if it all goes well. 